Hi everyone, in this video I'll be reviewing every Holotaco holographic glitter polish released to date. I'm going to show you swatches of each shade along with colour comparisons to other polishes in Holotaco's range. And finally I'll show you how I've used these for nail art and other fun manicure ideas you can do with these glitter polishes. Let's get started! I'm going to go through each shade one by one and I've timestamped each shade so you can skip to the ones you're interested in if you want to. First up is Play Rosé. This is a rose gold shade that was released in the 2019 Holidays collection and it's one of my absolute favourite polishes of all time. The first coat is very sheer, which would look lovely over another base polish if you want to use it as a topper, but to wear it on its own I find that it's best in three coats, which is true for most of these glitter polishes. It's best to apply thin coats if you can, and let it dry to the touch between each coat. This doesn't typically take too long for me, just a few minutes. With these chunky glitter polishes, it's quite important to finish with a quick dry and glossy top coat, as otherwise it will dry rough and textured, so you definitely will want to smooth it out with a top coat. I also find it best to do two layers of top coat for the smoothest finish, but it's not a requirement, and I'm only showing one coat for the swatches in this video. Next up is Xyla the Cat, a lightly burnt orange shade that was released in 2020 as a pair with Menchie the Cat, which you'll see later in the video. This polish is perfect for autumn. It's a lovely deep warm colour, and has some dark orange hollow glitter pieces in it, making it look super dimensional. Now comparing these shades to other orange polishes from Holo Taco. On my thumb I'm wearing orange drink, I've got Xyla the Cat on my index finger, Play Rosé on my middle finger, Cheap Champagne on my ring finger, and Peach Tea on my pinky. Next up is Choco Holo, which was released in the 2021 Christmas collection. This is a lovely warm deep brown shade with gold holographic glitters in it. This is another colour that would be wonderful for autumn manicures. All of the hollow glitter polishes consist of a translucent jelly base with a variety of different sized glitters and so with each layer the glitter can still shine through, giving the final result a whole lot of dimensionality. Next is another shade that was released in the 2021 Christmas collection, Gold Play Button. This is another favourite of mine. Packed full of gold holographic pigments, it's the perfect bright gold colour for celebratory events and it's another polish that I think works really nicely as a topper as well as a full coverage shade. Holo and Gold Play Button both contain gold holographic glitters, I'm showing them on the same comparison hand, but also because at present Holo Taco currently doesn't have any other brown polishes. I've got Choco Holo on my index finger, Gold Play Button on my middle finger, a few layers of Gold Flake Taco on my ring finger, and Frozen Bananas on my pinky. Next up is Everything is Pine, a super vibrant green shade that was released in the 2021 Christmas collection. This one contains green holographic glitters as well as micro silver ones. As with most of the glitter shades, three coats are best for full coverage. Everything is pine on my middle finger alongside other green polishes from Holo Taco. On my index finger I'm wearing green screen, on my ring finger I'm wearing green taffy, and on my pinky I'm wearing chameleon coat. 
Next up is Frost Light, a pale blue shade that was released with the 2019 Holidays Collection. This one is perfect for winter with its icy effect. Because it's got quite a pale light base, Frost Light definitely needs three coats for full coverage. Next is Midnight Spark, a deep dark blue shade that was released with the 2019 Holidays Collection. This polish contains some dark blue holographic glitters as well as silver glitters and has a lot of pigment in the base, so I only need two coats for full coverage with this one. Now here's a colour comparison of these blue glitter polishes next to some other blue shades from Hollow Taco. So from left to right we have Royalty Blue, Midnight Spark, Blue Freezy, Frost Light and Sparkling Water. The next shade is called Black Hollow Wish. This black holographic glitter polish was released with the 2021 Christmas collection. The amount of pigment and glitter is perfectly balanced so that it builds up in three coats to be a truly black polish but it has loads of holographic sparkle and this isn't easy to do so I'm really impressed with this polish. Here's Black Hollow Wish on my middle finger alongside other black polishes from Hollow Taco. On my index finger I'm wearing one coat black, on my ring finger I'm wearing electrostatic, and on my pinky I'm wearing full metal mixtape. The next polish is Plum Luck, a deep plum shade that was released with the 2021 Christmas collection. This is a stunning polish, it is so beautiful, that colour is so deep, and it applies really smoothly, I'm a big fan of this shade. I'm showing Plum Luck on my middle finger alongside some similar shades from Holo Taco. On my index finger I'm wearing I'm Over Brew, on my ring finger I'm wearing Magenta Jelly, and on my pinky I'm wearing High Tea Hibiscus. Next up is Party Punch, a hot pink shade that was released with the 2019 Holidays Collection. This can sometimes look like a bright red colour in some lights, but I will show a colour comparison of this with both pinks and reds so you can see exactly how it compares. The next polish is Naughty List a ruby red shade that was released with the 2021 Christmas collection. This shade is such a lovely classic deep red. It's super classy and it would be amazing for special occasions. Here's a colour comparison of Party Punch and Naughty List next to some other red and hot pink shades from Holo Taco. So from left to right we have I'm Over Brew, Naughty List, Red Licorice, Party Punch and Hot Wire Pink. The next shade is Menchi the Cat, a soft pale pink shade that was released in 2020 as a pair with Xyla the Cat. 
This is another favorite of mine. It's a very versatile nail color and is perfect when you want a classic pink manicure but with loads of sparkle. My mum in New Zealand loves this polish too. on my middle finger alongside some similar pink polishes from Holotaco. On my index finger I'm wearing fake date, on my ring finger I'm wearing pink fizz, and on my pinky I'm wearing what do you pink? Next up is Glitterly Purple, a soft warm purple shade that was released at the 2021 Remix collection. This was actually designed to replicate a mix of the five shades of the 2019 Holidays collection, so it contains glitters that were used in all five of those polishes. Here's glitterly purple on my middle finger alongside some similar polishes from Hollow Taco. From left to right, I'm wearing Lavender Syrup, Purple Slushy, Glitterly Purple, Pink Fizz, and Menchie the Cat. Last but not least, we have Rainbow Snow, a pure silver holographic glitter polish that was released with the 2019 Holidays Collection. As there's no added pigment in this shade, it's just a hit of pure hollow. I use this polish a lot and over time it's gotten a bit thicker and gloopier, but this is easily remedied by adding a few drops of nail polish thinner and giving it a shake. Just a note that the glitter polishes shouldn't be thick and difficult to work with when you first receive them. So if that is the case, do contact Holotaco's customer support. I have done this in the past when I received a glitter polish that was just too difficult to work with as soon as I opened it, and they sent me a new bottle as soon as I emailed them. Now here's Rainbow Snow with similar shades from Holo Taco. From left to right we have Gift Receipt, Full Metal Mixtape, Duct Tape Grey, and Rainbow Snow. I love using these polishes in nail art. Most often I just use them as a base and I do nail art on top, but you can also sponge or layer the glitters over another base to do nail art. Here are a few of the looks I've done with these polishes. You can also check out my Christmas nail art video using the 2021 Christmas collection to see some full nail art tutorials using those polishes. It's also possible to use these polishes as a single layer topper over a different base polish, and this can really help your bottle of glitter polish go a bit further. I'm showing some combos that I've done here, but there are so many different combinations you could do, and I'd love to hear what polishes you would combine with the hollow glitter polishes as a topper. <laughs> do have to talk about removal. Glitter polish is always quite difficult to remove, and that's because the glitters can just prevent the nail polish remover from fully soaking through. So sometimes it does take a bit longer. I recommend applying acetone to a cotton pad and holding it on the nail for at least 20 seconds, and that really helps it soak in. You might have to do this a few times, and if there are little pieces of glitter that are being really stubborn, you can very gently push them off with a cuticle pusher, but just be sure to not scratch your nail when you do that. If you love the look of glitter polishes, but you really don't want to deal with removing them, there are a couple of different options for you. So the first is to use them as a topper, the way that I showed you just before. And this can make them slightly easier to remove in general, because you only have the single layer of glitter that needs to be removed. Another option is to use a peel off base coat underneath. Personally, I find that my manicure really doesn't last very long when I use a peel off base coat underneath the glitter polishes. But what you can do is sort of apply the peel off base coat just to the middle of the nail and this will help you remove the bulk of the polish when you want to, but it will still stick around the edges. 
so it might still be a little tricky to remove the glitters from the edge of the nail but overall it won't take quite as long as if you didn't use a peel off base coat at all. So all in all I love this formula from Holo Taco. the holographic glitters are so stunning. Every single shade is a stunner honestly, they're all really good. I love having these as part of my collection and I love using them in nail art. I think they're so striking and I always get compliments from people when I wear them. What do you think of the Holo Taco holographic glitter formula? Do you have any of these polishes? Which are your favorites? If you liked this video and thought it was helpful, please leave a like, check out some of my other videos and I'll see you next time.